jumping thing works. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to learn how to jump shot like a pro? Stay tuned. By the end of this video, you'll have the tools and the knowledge in order to conquer just that. So there are multiple ways that you can get started with jump shotting and multiple ways to make it easier versus the original way. The original way was playing uh, with a format called Claw, uh, and we'll get into that in a second. The easiest way, however, is playing with controllers that have ba uh, paddles on the back. Like, for example, my PS4 scuff controller, um, beaver controllers. All of them are expensive. If you, if you got an Xbox, it's okay because you have multiple options there as well. You have the Elite Series 2 controller, which has the paddles are a little bit, a lot smaller. I was going to say a little bit. Uh, so that one takes a little bit getting used to if you're used to playing on a PlayStation 4 controller. But I prefer the Elite Series 2. The biggest reason why is because it's readily available. If I need to go out and buy another one, I can go to Best Buy. You can't go to Best Buy and get a scuff controller. However, in my opinion, the scuff controller is better. Um, it's just the fact that it's not readily I have to order it online. Uh, and it's roughly the same price. I, I went before I ever got a scuff controller. I didn't think they were worth it. They are worth it. These paddles make the game a lot easier to play. Uh, you put yourself back up to a, a normal playing field and gives you advantage for people who don't do that. Uh, and then there are other options as well, third party. One of them is uh, Power Fusion, I believe. I got it right here. Yeah, it's, uh, it's Fusion. Uh, the $60 controller has paddles almost as big as uh, Scuff. I got one. It didn't work. I just returned it. Uh, they didn't have another one for me to get. Otherwise, I would have just bought another one. I did like the way it felt. Uh, I think I just got a defaulted one because the reviews on it were really good. Moving on, we're going to talk about how you can do it without spending any money and just having a regular controller itself. So if you could pretend that this is not a scuff controller because I don't have a regular controller anymore. Um, the way that I would play is my index finger would sit at the top. I don't know if you can see this or not yet, right here. So my index finger would sit at the top like this, and I would just use my buttons, I mean my, my index finger to press the face buttons because I wouldn't have any, any back paddles. And I would change, uh, my layout's still the same. Um, my aim was L1 or left bumper if you're playing on Xbox, and my shooting is R1 uh, or right bumper if you're playing on Xbox. Uh, and my tacticals um, were the triggers. So it was easier for me. See if I can get this going. Uh, yeah. It'd be easier for me to continue to aim. My, my thumbs never leave the uh, joystick. And I can jump while aiming. And it takes a little getting used to. Um, in the beginning, you will learn or you will learn that you get a lot of cramps. But it does prevent you from spending money. And it does give you the advantage that you need. Now we're gonna go on to how you go about doing it. Now we're gonna be jumping into Resurgence uh, Rebirth Quads uh, for me to show you how you go about doing it because believe it or not, there is a perfect timing that goes into jump shouting, knowing when to do it, knowing when not to do it. Uh, and that actually comes with practice itself. So uh, I'm gonna drop down here where I always go. Hopefully no one else goes there, we'll see. Doesn't sound like it. Remember, if you're watching my last video, when, when improving in, in, in this game, you always wanna make sure you keep your centering up, right, where you think someone's gonna be, about chest level. And I can hear someone already. I don't know if they're above me or not. It sounds like they're above me. So when you're jump shotting, it's it's not just about, right, just jumping without moving, right? You want to make sure that you're, you're, you're bee hopping. Well, that's also what is known as bee hopping in a different direction or in a continuous direction. Because if you're just doing this while you're shooting, then you're just a stationary target. Oh, they're below me now. Let's 
So that was a perfect example of when you want to be hop and continue to move in a direction. It's, it's harder to track. As you can see in the kill cam, even the guy shooting me in the back is unable to do so successfully. Continuing what I was saying, you want to make sure that you're mastering the timing um, of jump shotting. Doing it all the time isn't always going to help you get the win, uh, but most of the time it will. Um, if you find yourself, one of the best things to do is be hopping around the corner, right? And the timing comes to going when to press the jump button again. So the second your feet of your character hit the ground, you want to you want to jump again, right? So that gets the perfect timing. If you didn't do it right, it, it just doesn't look as good like it's right here, like it's versus. It's just a better movement. Because if you are timing it wrong, like I'm doing right now, you could you could just see the gun going down, and it causes you to have to have animation to bring it up more. All right, so let's let's put this to the test. Again, having a scuff controller will make this a lot easier than than playing claw by a lot and a lot more comfortable, but. That doesn't mean you have to have a scuff controller or a controller with paddles on the back or anything. Nice little bee hop around. Also, what helps with jumping, it's not really jump shotting, is when you're slide canceling. It kind of gives you that extra distance. Oh, how I lost that one blows my mind. But jump shotting allowed me to get the headshot in order to crack his armor. He snapped on pretty quick. He was one bullet away. Um, there's really not much more breaking down that you can do when it comes to jump shotting. Uh, you just got to practice it, and you'll know. You'll, it'll be a feeling that you get, and I know that's really not that much help. But it will prevent you from being the kind of guy that has to ask this question. How does that jumping thing work? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so if you enjoyed the video, I ask you please hit the like button. It really does help out the channel. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out my other videos like this one. And I'll see you guys next time.